I think it's time for another story. Well, here's an odd little story for you called The Porridge Pot. In case you might have forgotten, porridge is something like oatmeal or mush. There was once a very poor girl who lived in the outskirts of a very small town with her mother. They were good people, but so poor that they rarely managed to have enough food to eat. Well, one day the young girl went for a walk in the woods, hoping to find a few berries left from the summer, although winter was already on its way. She was having no luck at all when suddenly an old woman appeared. The woman was bent over and wrinkled with age, but she had a wonderfully kind face. She didn't scare the girl at all. Here, my dear, she said, take this pot, and when you are hungry, simply say, Now cook, little pot, and you and your mother will not have to go hungry again. But the girl could not believe what she was hearing. Oh, yes, the woman went on. When the pot is full, just say, Now stop, little pot. The girl remained amazed and couldn't speak. She didn't say a word to the old woman, not so much as a thank you, but simply took the pot being handed to her and ran out of the forest all the way home. Mother, the words came pouring out as she ran into their tiny cottage. Mother, look what I've got. And she proudly showed her mother the magic gift. But we have nothing to put in it, her mother said sadly when she saw it was a pot. But wait, said the little girl, and she put the pot down on the kitchen table and said, Now cook, little pot. Instantly, there was a low bubbling sound. And when they looked into the pot, they saw a sweet smelling honey colored porridge bubbling higher and higher up the sides of the pot until it filled the whole thing up. Now stop, little pot, said the girl, and the pot did. Spoons, they both said at once, and they dipped right into the delicious porridge and agreed that it was the best they ever tasted. They could never believe their good luck at being given a pot that would always give them food so that they never had to go hungry again. A life was finally going well in the little cottage, and one day the girl decided to take a walk to visit a friend she'd met. While she was gone, her mother got hungry and decided to use the magic pot. She put the pot on the table and said to it, Now cook, little pot. And the pot did as it always did and began to bubble with the sweet honey-colored porridge. But as the porridge began to bubble up to the top of the pot, the girl's mother couldn't remember the words to use to stop it. Okay, she said, that's enough now. And nothing happened. Stop cooking, please, she said, because she was always well-mannered. But manners didn't stop the pot either. What do you want me to say? She hollered at the pot. I can't remember what you want me to say. I don't want any more. I'm not hungry. Can't you see that? What am I doing? She thought to herself, hollering at a pot. But she was so frantic, she couldn't help it, because, you see, by now the porridge had bubbled over the top of the pot and was rolling down the table and out the door. It had filled up their little cottage and was headed for the house next door. The neighbor's dog, of course, had started eating it, but had now gotten his paws all caught up in it like sticky mud. And the cat had just about disappeared in the mush, except for the top of his tail. The little girl had already started on her way home, but she hadn't gone very far when she saw porridge rolling towards her down the street. Oh, no, she thought, and she began running towards her house. But as you can imagine, she couldn't get very far very fast because, well, have you ever tried to run through oatmeal? When she finally got outside the cottage, she yelled, Now stop, little pot, at the top of her lungs, and the pot did stop. It took a long time to clean up the town, but the girl never regretted her pot. She was only sorry that she hadn't thanked the old woman who gave it to her.